sexual reproduction of syncytial if the conditions are dry if it is plenty of water it will behave as zoospores and if uh, there is absence of water if or the if the conditions are drier the segments of prosorus the segments of prosorus differentiated into gametangia if the conditions are drier or absence of absence of water or oh, drier the segments of prosorus differentiate into gametangia so the structure of single gametangia is over there the gametes are similar in morphology to the zoospores and these gametes which are similar in morphology the gametes which are similar in morphology so there are the structure of the gametes are over there both are similar in structure so it is iso gametes and this gametes having one flagellum they are plano gametes and fusing pair so this uh, are plano gametes and fuses in pair so these are the plano gametes and thereby the fusion of this are taken place the gametic union so the fusion of the gametes taken place and thereby the gametic union occurs on the surface of the host or in the film of water so the gametic union occurs on the surface of host or the film of water the plasmogamy is followed by karyogamy resulting in the diploid blight flagellate cycle so the fusion is taken place and plasmogamy is followed by the karyogamy and resulting in the formation of so on the figure you can see that the nuclei are about to fuse and resulting in the formation of diploid by flagellate so on the structure or on the figure over there you can see that the diploid by flagellate zygote so the fusion results in the formation of diploid by flagellate zygote the zygotes moves about for a while and finally comes to rest upon the host so the diploid by flagellate zygote moves about for a while so the diploid the fusion of the gametes resulting in the formation of the diploid by flagellate zygote and the zygote moves for a while and finally rest upon the rest upon the host so it rests upon the host and the zygote penetrates and it penetrates into the epidermal cell and soon comes to lie at the base of the cell so the zygote penetrates so this zygote will spin or move for some time and rest upon the surface and later this zygote penetrates the epidermal penetrates the epidermal cell and soon come to lie at the base of the epidermal come to the base of epidermal cell meanwhile as a result of this infection the infected cell and the adjacent cells are stimulated to divide repeatedly so uh, 
meanwhile as a result of this infection the infected swells and the adjacent cells so as the infection is taken place or the zygote is penetrated into the epidermal cells the infected who cells and the adjacent cells which are undergo repeated division the zygote now enlarges so the penetrated zygote now enlarges within the host cell the zygote enlarges the zygote enlarges and secretes a two layered thick wall so the uh, zygote penetrated into the epidermal cell enlarges and secrete two layered thick wall this this structure is called the resting sporangia or winter sporangium it remains dormant throughout the winter so the zygote is there on the epidermal cells and this zygote will undergo so as a result of this penetration of the zygote the infected cell and the nearby or the adjacent cells undergo repeated divisions and the zygote enlarges and secretes a two layer thick wall and this structure is called the rusting sporangium this structure is called the rusting sporangium or winter sporangium and this structure the two layer thick wall structure is called the rusting sporangium or the winter sporangium and this winter sporangium is remains dormant throughout the winter it remains dormant throughout the winter so this is the uh, the first figure shows the thick wall rusting sporangium and this will remain dormant throughout the winter when conditions are favorable each rusting sporangium germinates so when conditions are favorable each rusting sporangium germinates so it remains dormant throughout the winter and when conditions are favorable and when conditions are favorable each resting sporangium each each resting sporangium germinates when conditions are favor each resting sporangium germinates the diploid nucleus undergo so it germinates and the diploid nucleus undergo reduction division or meiosis this diploid nuclei undergo reduction division and or meiosis is taken place and after meiosis it is followed by a number of successive mitotic division so the resting sporangium when the favorable condition the resting sporangium germinates and when the resting uh, during favorable condition the resting sporangium germinates and followed by reduction division of meiosis and after the meiosis of the reduction division it is followed by the repeated mitotic divisions later the protoplasm becomes segmented so after repeated uh, mitotic divisions the protoplasm become segmented to form uniflagellate zoospores so you can see over there later the protoplasm become segmented to form many uniflagellate zoospores so, over there you can see the many segmented uni flagellate zoospores are there this zoospores are larger than produced in the asexual cycle so on the asexual reproduction also there are the zoospores are produced and the zoospores which are produced by sexual reproduction are larger than those produced in asexual cycle 
but the zoospores behave the same way both in asexual and in sexual reproduction they liberate and this zoospores are liberate by rupturing so this zoospores are released or liberate by rupturing the wall of sporangium so these are liberated by rupturing the wall of sporangium and may cause no infection on the host cells so here you can see that the host penetration of the zoospores they are liberated by rupturing the cell wall of the sporangium and may cause no infection on the host cell and this is the diagrammatic representation of sexual reproduction so these are the single gametangium so uh, when conditions are favorable for sexual reproduction or which condition if it is drier or in the absence of water it will behave as gametes and it will later transform into a single gametangium and these are isogametes similar in size and fusing gametes takes place the fusion of two gametes takes place so here the both the gametes are similar so isogamy is carried out and the fusion of this gametes resulting in the formation of diploid biflagellate zygote and this zygote moves for some time and find the host and when it find the host it penetrate into the host cell and after that it is termed as a resting sporangium or the window sporangium it secretes thick wall resting sporangium and mature resting sporangium will undergo reduction division and followed by many mitotic divisions this resting sporangium containing zoospores by the repeated mitotic divisions and these are liberated this zoospores are uh, liberated by rupturing the wall of the zoosporangium and this zoospores which find new host when it comes in contact with the new host it penetrate into the host cell and it becomes a summer spore so this is the life cycle of syncytrial sexual reproduction the cycle of sexual reproduction of syncytrial